वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल स्टडी थर्मल डिज़ाइन ऑफ अर्थिंग कंडक्टर्स एंड अर्थिंग इलेक्ट्रोड्स सो वी हैव इन अवर सब स्टेशन थ्री वोल्टेज लेवल दैट इज थ्री एटी वन थर्टी टू और थर्टी पॉइंट एट के बी सो सिलेक्शन ऑफ अर्थिंग कंडक्टर इज कैरिड आउट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फॉल्ट करेंट सो इट मीन इफ द फॉल्ट करेंट इज बोर द कंडक्टर uh size will be bigger it has it will be having a bigger cross section so that it can pass easily the fault current without melting down or without getting it damaged the maximum fault duration the final temperature and the mechanical stresses so when the current is passing through the conductor then obviously it will heat up and each conductor has a thermal uh time constant so we have to take care each and everything the another aspect one aspect is a current current capacity another aspect is a temperature rise thermal temperature capacity and the the third one which is also most important is a mechanical stress so when huge current fault current is flowing through this earth mesh it will not only produce a heating effect but it will create a severe or very high mechanical stresses on the conductor just imagine the short circuit around 60 kilo amperes so just imagine that how much it will put a force so whenever uh, the conductors are joined together or when the mesh is designed not only current carrying capacity but these stresses are also taken in the account and you by checking these uh, stresses the joint strength mechanical strength and, uh, and 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 the conductor mechanical strength is also very important in the line with the contract specification it is proposed to be used a bare soft brown stranded copper for earthing conductor and earth mesh so as per the specification we have to use a bare conductor a multi strand conductor uh, Uh, and uh, for earthing conductor and earth mesh for both we have to use the same type considering multiple fault it is common practice to carry out thermal design of earthing system with respect to rated current of switch gear so this is another uh, thing that uh, we are following the practice here that uh, multiple fault it is a common practice to carry out thermal design of earthing system with respect to Rated current of switch gear. So switch gear, we have to design that match as respect to the switch gear capacity of. This is basically uh, practice. According to IEEE standard 80 2000 equation 41, the minimum required cross section for earthing conductor and earth electrode carrying the maximum fault current can be calculated as. So this is the formula. You will find this formula in. I E C standard eighty uh, slash two thousand. This is the most famous uh, I E C standard, and most of the designing uh, equation uh, for uh, different earth, earth uh, design calculations you will find in this standard, which is I E C standard. Uh, below is the equation for calculating the cross section area. You will find also the equation like of tet and step potential uh, also in the same standard. uh here we are giving reference of tesp uh whereas a tesp is also uh basically a, a standard of a, from a client company uh, what they have done they have studied the main iec and ieee standards and they have explained the standards uh in their own way and they have founded uh, all the contractors that they should follow the tesp and they are frequently they are revising with esp also in some special cases as per their requirement they can increase or decrease the requirement or specification of certain equipment this is the advantage of introducing a local tesp so you can see the cross section area this equation is shown here so let us discuss what is impacting uh, on cross section area here a is a cross section of a conductor the, this is the cross section of conductor that we have to use in a mesh 
आई के वन इज मैक्सिमम और फॉल्ट करंट सो दिस करंट इज मैक्सिमम फॉल्ट करंट एंड दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय नॉर्मल यूटिलिटी और इट कैन ऑल्सो बी कैलकुलेट इट बट यू हैव टू कोट अ कंप्लीट सिस्टम एंड यू हैव टू सबमिट अ कंप्लीट सिस्टम एंड देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट और इट माइट बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द यूटिलिटी बट द थिंग इज all level of substation is not remain same all the time uh, i will give you the example for example a substation a uh, four lines are connected transmission lines coming from uh, power power plants if only one line is feeding the substation the fault level will be low and if more sources are added the fault level will increase accordingly so fault level is uh, dynamic in the system and it's keep on changing all the time second example is if you in in the substation if you have a transformer which is a source and which is a, which is a fault feeding source of at the, in on the substation so if you are grounding neutral of the transformer through impedance the fault level will be low and if you are grounding the transformer neutral solidly the fault level will be high so this all consideration we have to see now we have taken as 63 kilo ampere fault level that is i have described in the start tm is a 1083 degree centigrade copper fusing temperature so what is the copper fusing temperature uh, we uh, i would like to explain in very simple way in in now we are using in, in our houses mcbs before we were using a uh, copper wire or a, a small wire and when there is a fault the wire melts down and what we used to do is to put a new wire so what is meaning of copper meltdown so we used to say okay the fuse is blown so this is the temperature of uh, copper at which it will melt so we have to avoid reaching this temperature so this is melting temperature tm for the copper ta ambient temperature so this is also very important that uh, by considering for example you are putting a grid mesh uh, in uh, siberia where temperature is minus 40 minus 30 maximum it will go to minus 15 or 20 or something like this so in that case uh, you have to you, you uh, even at the same Uh, if you keep all the things same voltage level resistivity uh, short circuit level step and touch potential specification everything is same but ambient is in minus so uh, any temperature of the that specific land is in minus so you need you need to install a uh, uh, copper conductor for earth mesh the diameter requirement will be less so the ambient is most important so normally the ambient temperature at which uh, station is designed taking at max so ambient temperature is taking with 50 degree centigrade k not is 234 degree centigrade which is material constant for copper so thermal capacity factor for copper so what is the thermal capacity uh thermal capacity is defined as a quantity of heat necessary to produce a unit of change temperature in unit of a mass so in short it means that if you i want to increase a 1 degree centigrade in a copper uh, in a centimeter cubic copper so i will be needing 3.422 joules of energy to heat up 1 cubic meter copper so this is the energy required so this uh, you have to put so you have to see that uh, this is the behavior if you put three things of same size under the sun uh, sunlight you will see each temperature each uh, thing is heat up at different temperature if you touch it so if you put a metal if you put a plastic if you put a copper aluminum if you put a stone so each thing will be heat up at different temperature so it is kind of thermal capacity factor for a specific item then we have thermal coefficient of resistivity for copper so 
which is defined by alpha r then we have a specific resistivity of copper that we have uh, measured during testing and then we have maximum fault duration that is uh, one second so this is the formula so thermal coefficient uh, means at uh, with change of one degree how much resistivity of equipment changes so this is another uh, uh, coefficient uh, which is finding if uh, a temperature rise uh, uh, by one degree how much resistivity will change so normally resistivity of an, uh, any material like conductor also depend upon the temperature so you have to put this equation in this equation also so you have to put all these parameters values are with us uh, this ambient values are also coming from the standard uh, by the utility so we have put all these values and then we can calculate the am square uh, area so this table is also taking from ieee 80 2000 page 41 uh, this formula is very famous formula so you can see uh, we have explained you the formula but actually the conductor size when you put the data will be calculated automatically and uh, you will see the results uh, which are coming from CDEGS uh, directly and these are the CDEGS conductor ampacity calculation and we are following IEEE standard 80 these are the computation results so maximum conductor size is 456 in MCM 231 square mm so in different parameters sizes are given uh, input data again it is uh, with the results it is also showing the input data through the software it is symmetrical RMS current magnitude 63 kilo ampere maximum fault duration is one second so this is the maximum fault duration actual fault actual fault duration by a profession should be clear in 0.5 seconds with the 50 100 percent margin we are using as a one second fault duration ambient temperature 50 degree centigrade maximum allowable temperature is 1083 and this is basically the fusing temperature of copper conductor type copper annealed soft uh, drawn 100% conductivity decrement factor 1.023 x over r ratio is 17 feet per 60 hertz so material constant of conductor so name of conductor is copper annealed soft drawn 100% conductivity reference temperature for material constant is 20 degree centigrade thermal coefficient of resistivity at reference temperature is 0 0.00393 one per degree centigrade fusing temperature we have already mentioned and the resistivity of conductor at reference temperature is 1.7 micro ohms per centimeter thermal capacity per unit is 3.4 to 0 joules per centimeter square per degree centigrade so these are the results so we need a conductor of minimum size of 230 square mm so here what we can do so hence after getting this can, uh, this calculations we came to know that copper conductor cross section proposed for the mesh is uh, 1 by 240 mm square mm so we have chosen this conductor this is the cross section area of the conductor will be the conductor cross section for equipment connects at two diagonally diag diagonally opposite points is defined by tsp table 10-3 Conductor is not proposed under the building. Conductor can be rearranged on site as per site conditions. So these are the this is the results that how we have calculated the conductor size. So I hope you enjoy uh, this portion much, and uh, we will move forward to our next section. Thank you very much.